English for Child Care by Marianne Brims, Marsha Chan, and Julaine Rosner is a comprehensive text designed to meet the language requirements of adults who care for children. The learning material provides practice for high beginning to low intermediate language learners in the integrated skills of reading, writing, listening, speaking, pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar. Users will learn to perform the following skills. 1. Respond appropriately to English sentences used in the childcare workplace at home and in school. 2. Participate in conversations in English with children, parents, and staff in childcare settings at home and in school. 3. Use level-appropriate grammar, orally and in writing, to communicate effectively with parents, teachers, and childcare providers about child-related topics such as illnesses and incidents. 4. Comprehend and respond appropriately to readings related to child care and parenting orally and in writing. Use vocabulary words and phrases frequently found in the context of child care and parenting. And 5. Recognize selected aspects of American children's culture such as songs, nursery rhymes, and games and use these with children. The English for Child Care book and CD package is available from Sunburst Media. English for Child Care is also available as an ebook that you can download and read in Apple Books on your Mac and iPad. In the enhanced EPUB, the 200 sound files are embedded, so you're able to listen from your device without being connected to the Internet. For more information, access Sunburst Media. Idioms in English, Volume 2 Idioms like jump through hoops and hands-on experience are used frequently in English. If you don't understand the idioms, you can miss the point of a presentation, conversation, or email. This is the table of contents. All of the idioms are organized in stories and dialogues. It starts with a listening practice. Listen to the story. Then, click on Quiz 1 in the lower right to see the questions. Cooking Classes Hi, Alice. I heard you were taking French cooking classes. Yes, Jean. I just finished the series. It was a great hands-on experience. Then there's a quiz to check your listening comprehension. Mouse over the TOEFL Listening Practice button to get more information. Next, you can read the story or dialogue. Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. A quiz to clarify the meaning of each idiom follows. After the story or dialogue, each idiom is shown with a definition, two examples, and pronunciation notes. Then you practice the idiom with a scored dictation. At the end is a scored final review with multiple choice, dictation, fill in the blank, and word scrambles. With this program, you can improve your listening comprehension, pronunciation, and vocabulary in English. For lectures and discussions at school, for conference calls and meetings at work, and for tests like the TOEFL and TOEIC. Here's some user feedback. Hello, I'm Marsha Chan, the Pronunciation Doctor. Do you want to understand and speak English more clearly? Phrase by Phrase Pronunciation in American English is designed for non-native speakers of English who wish to make their speech more intelligible. You can sharpen your pronunciation skills with Phrase by Phrase. This is a comprehensive and user-friendly text, audio, video program. Phrase by Phrase 
has several components, a student book, five audio CDs, and five DVDs. With my lessons, you'll be able to watch the mouth in motion and hear and reproduce the melody of English in 16 lively and superbly explained lessons you'll increase control of American English rhythm stress intonation and linking and you will articulate your vowels and consonants more clearly you'll gain confidence as you speak with precision and comfort the lessons are presented in a systematically organized learning program. My videos help learners develop auditory sensitivity. You hear sounds and sound patterns better. The exercises allow you to improve accuracy, fluency, and ease in your oral production of English. You speak more clearly and confidently you'll enjoy interesting stories, lively dialogues, and vivid demonstrations of how to pronounce consonants and vowels. In the 16 lessons of phrase by phrase, you'll learn the characteristics of accent, stress, intonation, and linking. These characteristics are reinforced and expanded on throughout the lessons. These features, called suprasegmentals by linguists, are essential in giving English its distinct rhythm and melody. Stress, rhythm, and intonation are also the key factors in making pronunciation intelligible. That means easy for other people to hear and understand you. No matter what your native language is, you'll benefit from understanding and improving these oral language features. In addition, you'll practice all of the American English vowels and consonant groups throughout the program. How will you learn? You can order these materials from sunburstmedia.com. You can inquire about private lessons with the pronunciation doctor. And I'll invite you into my online classroom. I have many free playlists with hundreds of videos for you to improve your pronunciation listening, speaking, vocabulary, grammar, and writing. Enjoy! English for Child Development, Language Skills for Parents and Providers by Marianne Brems Marsha J. Chan and Jelaine H. Rosner, published by Sunburst Media. English for Child Development is an integrated skills textbook for English language learners. It teaches English to adults preparing for the field of early childhood education. It focuses on the academic language for students of child development. It gives practical assignments for communicating orally and in writing as child care providers, in-service teachers, and parents. It embraces the linguistic and cultural diversity of children and adults, and it includes games, songs, creative projects, and problem-solving tasks. English for Child Development follows English for Child Care in addressing the needs of parents and child care providers who are learning English for the specific purpose of advancing in their field. Let's take a look at some chapter openers. Chapter 1. Gathering Information About Children. The chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to give and receive basic information about children, to recognize, develop, and practice skills to complete an accurate and objective running record about a child, to recognize, develop, and practice skills to reflect about a child's interests and background. 
to develop language skills for introducing children. Chapter 2. Documenting Development The chapter goals are to develop and provide vocabulary and expressions for documenting the development of children, describing what children are wearing, writing a running record to document behavior, and to recognize the domains of development. Chapter 3. Describing Children and Their Development the chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to describe children and their development, to identify origin and cultural or ethnic identity, to write an objective introduction and description of a child, and to write an anecdotal record and reflection. Chapter 4. Factors in Child Development The chapter goals are to develop and practice expressions to discuss information about an environment, to fill out a child care environment rating sheet, to describe a child care environment objectively, and to write an observation and reflection on a child care environment. Chapter 5. Socio-Emotional Development the chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to give and receive information about a child's socio-emotional development, to learn vocabulary and strategies to talk about pro-social and antisocial behavior, and to make oral and written reports, observations, and reflections about socio-emotional skills. Chapter 6. Motor Development the chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to discuss motor development, to converse with children about their actions using narration, to write an accurate and objective running record, and to write a reflection to express conclusions and make predictions. Chapter 7. Cognitive Development the chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to discuss cognitive development, to recognize different kinds of knowledge and cognitive development, to reflect on a child's cognitive development, and to understand child assessment guidelines about causation. Chapter 8. Language and Literacy Development The chapter goals are to develop and practice vocabulary and expressions to discuss language and literacy development, to give responses that teach children language, to encourage language development and literacy through the use of language, and to assess a child's speech and language. Vocabulary is presented in English for Child Development in a number of ways. Some vocabulary words are illustrated and placed in the context of sentences. These examples describe the actions of young children showing important motor skills that they usually gain in their first two years. For example, she's lying prone, she's lying on her stomach, she's lifting her head and shoulders, and so on. This is an example of phrases to describe children's physical appearance, specifically the body, the skin, the eyes, the face, and the hair. Many new words are glossed as footnotes at the bottom of the page, especially in the reading passages. Every chapter has a vocabulary highlight, which focuses on one or two words central to the theme of the chapter. It promotes deeper study of the spelling, pronunciation, definitions, collocations, and usage of these words in grammatical sentences and appropriate situations. Every chapter has a word form section in the back of the book which helps learners identify suffixes to recognize members of word families. Each chapter includes at least one reading passage targeted for intermediate to high intermediate English language learners that presents a topic relevant to the domains or stages of child development. The reading passages in this book include topics such as domains of child development, growth and development, factors in child development, socio-emotional development, motor development, cognitive development, and language and literacy development. English for Child Development introduces students to three excerpts from the Desired Results Developmental Profile, DRDP, a formative assessment instrument developed by the California Department of Education for young children and their families. Its purpose is to enhance instruction and program development. Each reading is followed by exercises that help explain the content and make it more accessible. 
For example, this activity focuses on the organization of the reading, calling attention to key points. Pre-reading questions introduce the topic of the reading, connecting it with concepts previously introduced, engaging learners' prior knowledge, and leading learners to make predictions that will enhance their understanding of the reading passage. Following every reading passage is a reading and vocabulary analysis section. Post-reading discussion questions help students master the content and connect concepts with practical child development experiences. There are ample opportunities for students to learn and practice aspects of English grammar, writing, and editing in the context of child development. Different facets of the English language are explained and exemplified in easy-to-read language focus boxes adjacent to the learning activities. These include grammar and syntax, vocabulary and expressions, and strategies and structures for specific language functions. Here is an example of a language focus box on real conditional sentences in present and past time. The language focus is followed by an activity on making sentences with the target structures. These exercises on active and passive voice, both the one on completing sentences with the proper verb forms and the one requiring students to find and correct errors, demonstrate that all grammar and language patterns are embedded in topics related to early childhood development. Writing assignments include instruction on how to read, understand, and approach a response to a writing prompt typically found in a child development course. As these examples show, students practice sentence completion, sentence combination, and sentence creation. They write paragraphs and dialogues. They respond to questions of fact and opinion. They fill out various forms to assess children and child care environments. Most writing assignments are done individually, but others are done in groups, especially when the observation of children is an essential part. The appendix has a section on sentence structures and mechanics tailored to the audience of this book. It is intended to be used as a resource to provide supplementary material and act as a handy and brief reference. Guided listening activities provide learners with spoken and written input about child development topics. Here's an example of a listening close activity focusing on cognitive development followed by a dictation activity. Activities focusing on aspects of pronunciation, stress, and connected speech help learners develop fluency and comfort as well as increase their oral intelligibility through dialogue practice. Interaction among class members through dialogues and role-play activities builds skills and creates community. Students strengthen their use of English grammar, vocabulary, listening, and speaking while reflecting on real experiences and solving childcare dilemmas. Dictation synthesizes language and child development concepts, supports comprehension, word recognition, and spelling, and connects spoken and written language. Every chapter presents both teacher-led and student-to-student -student dictation. Songs generate fun and interest, contribute to children's skill development and confidence, harmonize with the theme of a chapter, and stimulate language learning. Throughout the text, students are provided opportunities to complete extension projects involving a multitude of skills. These include guiding children to write bilingual booklets, reading a particular type of children's book and writing an evaluation of it, and observing children and writing reports that comprise introductions, running records, and reflections. For more information about English for Child Care and English for Child Development, Language Skills for Parents and Providers, contact Sunburst Media. Pronunciation in English is an online, interactive program. 
Pronunciation in English helps you use the important elements of stress, intonation, and rhythm, like a native speaker. Pronunciation in English is now divided into two levels, High Beginning Plus and Intermediate Plus. It features American, British, and Australian speakers of English. The program offers both video and audio lessons, record and playback, and text is available in 10 languages. This is the table of contents for High Beginning Plus. By selecting one of the 10 language options, you can view the lecture notes and instructions in that language. If you don't select a language option, it defaults to English. The new Enhanced Navigation allows you to see the program index from the table of contents by rolling over the symbol of the magnifying glass in the lower left. Rolling over each chapter on the table of contents screen will show you a chapter level index. To see an even more detailed index, click on the Index button on the Table of Contents. This is the first lesson in Chapter 1, Syllables. Each lesson starts with a video lecture. Here is a short sample of the lesson. In English, every word has one or more syllables. The lecture concentrates on a specific objective, which is then practiced in the following interactive exercise. Click on each word and listen. Then click on the number of syllables you hear. For an incorrect answer, you'll hear the cuckoo sound. For a correct answer, you'll hear the wood block, and then the syllable number will appear in the box. Community Then you can listen to the word again and record your voice and compare it to the native speaker. This chapter has interactive practices and covers two rules for syllables. Now we'll sample some presentations and exercises from Chapter 2, Stress in Words. In English, every word has one syllable that is stressed more than the others. Here's an example of the page viewed with the language option selected. Listen for the stressed syllable. Click on the number of syllables. Then click on the vowel sound of the stressed syllable. Commuter Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. Then there's a final review. There are four rotating versions of this final review. They all provide scoring. Here's the IPA and the individual sound chapter. A guided tour of the IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. The IPA is a list of symbols that represent vowel, and consonant sounds in English. The P sound. If P is difficult for you, remember to start with your lips together. Pearl prepared the pears with a puree and the flavor popped. Pronunciation in English is used in the language labs at hundreds of schools and universities and by thousands of individuals worldwide. Here's some user feedback. The Green Sea Turtle On the land she is slow, in the water she glides, in the ocean she swims with a grace through the tides. In the day she will surface to breathe, but at night she will sleep under water for hours out of sight. In Hawaii, she'll bask in the warmth on the beach. From the humans protected and kept out of reach. Skin is green like the algae she eats to survive. Her hard shell will protect her, helps keep her alive. 
With her flippers like paddles, she swims through the sea. In the water she's nimble, her movements are free. In the warmest of months, she'll travel quite far. She will journey by day and by night under stars. To the beach where she hatched, she's returning once more. With the male at her side, she will mate just offshore. She is clumsy and slow as she moves on the land. She will nest up the beach where it's dry in the sand. There she'll dig, make a pit, lay her eggs in the dark, taking time to conceal them and leaving no mark. Baby turtles will break through their shells and dig out, but with predators waiting, their survival's in doubt. They must crawl to the water, they move towards the light. The horizon is calling at dawn, end of night. On the land they are slow, in the water they glide. In the ocean they swim with a grace through the tides. On the land she is slow, in the water she glides. In the ocean she swims with a grace through the tides. Green sea turtles are reptiles whose ancestors evolved on land and returned to the sea to live about 150 million years ago. They can weigh up to 700 pounds. The shell of green sea turtles is lighter and more streamlined than that of land turtles, so they can move easily through the water. On the land she is slow. In the water she glides. In the ocean she swims with a grace through the tides. In the day she will surface to breathe, but at night. Baby, they might. The Green Sea Turtle. Pronunciation in English is an online interactive program. Pronunciation in English helps you use the important elements of stress, intonation, and rhythm, like a native speaker. Pronunciation in English is now divided into two levels, High Beginning Plus and Intermediate Plus. It features American, British, and Australian speakers of English. The program offers both video and audio lessons record and playback, and text is available in 10 languages. This is the table of contents for Intermediate Plus. By selecting one of the 10 language options, you can view the lecture notes and instructions in that language. If you don't select a language option, it defaults to English. The new Enhanced Navigation allows you to see the program index from the table of contents by rolling over the symbol of the magnifying glass in the lower left. Rolling over each chapter on the table of contents screen will show you a chapter level index. To see an even more detailed index, click on the Index button on the table of contents. At the word level, there are syllables that are stressed and unstressed. At the sentence level, there are stressed words and unstressed words. In sentences, the basic stress pattern is usually created by stressing content words, like nouns, main verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. Click on the number to hear the sentence. Click on the stressed words in each phrase. Their team worked on a roadmap for their new product releases. Here's how it looks after the words are clicked. 
they turn red and provide a visual model for the recording and playback exercises. Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. Then we'll look at one of the many practices that follow. This is a dictation practice. Notice that the focus word in the phrase should be in parentheses. Cycling and yoga are both popular classes. Now we'll look at one of the paragraph level practices. Notice that the content words turn red and the focus words turn red and get underlined. Again, this gives students a guide for listening to this passage and recording it. The Lion and the Mouse Once, when a lion was asleep, a little mouse began running up and down his back. Next, we'll go to the intonation chapter. Here's a practice page. The cowboys saddled the horses early so they could ride out before dawn. We'll skip past the video for intonation in yes, no questions to look at a practice. Note that the intonation goes up at the end of these questions. Do you think this stock will go up again? This chapter explores the rhythm that native speakers often use. Matching these rhythms will help your spoken English be understood more easily. Here are a couple of practices for reduction. We have to complete the building within 30 days. The concert featured a lot of different musicians. Then there's a final review. There are four rotating versions of this final review. They all provide scoring. Pronunciation in English is used in the language labs at hundreds of schools and universities and by thousands of individuals worldwide. Here's some user feedback. Animal Tales, Volume 3 Here's the table of contents. Mouse over each chapter number to see the graphic change in the center and the title change in the upper right. Click on a chapter to hear the complete animal tale read aloud. The Flamingo just click on the thumbnail to see the large photo up here. Their feathers are orange, vermilion, and pink. Shades are changed by the food and the water they drink. The birds feed in the lake with their heads upside down. Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. Their feathers are orange, vermilion, and pink. Shades are changed by the food and the water they drink. Flamingos come in a wide range of colors, depending on what they eat. Flamingos are omnivorous. They eat seeds, blue-green algae, crustaceans, mollusks, and insects. Click on the TOEFL Vocabulary Practice button to see the highlighted vocabulary. Click on the highlighted words to go to the scored practice section. There are over 250 vocabulary words in the TOEFL vocabulary practice. Use the back button to return to the fact page. Click on the review to take a multiple choice quiz on the animal facts and get a score. At the end is a scored final review with dictation, fill in the blank, multiple choice, word scrambles.
and the TOEFL vocabulary practice. The user management system tracks usage and scores for dictation practices to check listening comprehension, review quizzes to check reading comprehension, final review with five different question types, including word scrambles to check grammar and syntax. Idioms in English for young adults. Idioms like roll over and make a comeback are used frequently in English. If you don't understand the idioms, you can miss the point of a presentation, conversation, or email. This is the table of contents. All of the idioms are organized in stories and dialogues. It starts with a listening practice. Listen to the story. Then, click on Quiz 1 in the lower right to see the questions. The game. Are you going to the game this weekend? Yes, I'm a big fan. I'm hoping my team will make a comeback. The press is predicting they will lose. Then there's a quiz to check your listening comprehension. Mouse over the TOEFL Listening Practice button to get more information. Next, you can read the story or dialogue. Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. A quiz to clarify the meaning of each idiom follows. After the story or dialogue, each idiom is shown with a definition, two examples, and pronunciation notes. Mouse over the TOEFL Phrasal Verbs button to get more information. Then you practice the idiom with a scored dictation. At the end is a scored final review with dictation, fill in the blank, multiple choice, and word scrambles. With this program, you can improve your listening comprehension, pronunciation, and vocabulary in English. For lectures and discussions at school, for conference calls and meetings at work, and for tests like the TOEFL and TOEIC. Here's some user feedback. Animal Tales, Volume 4. Here's the table of contents. Mouse over each chapter number to see the graphic change in the center and the title change in the upper right. Click on a chapter to hear the complete animal tale read aloud. The Panda. <laughs> Just click on the thumbnail to see the large photo appear. High up in the mountains of China they're found, where it's misty with groves of bamboo all around. Since the Pleistocene age, they have lived on the land. Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. High up in the mountains of China they're found, where it's misty with groves of bamboo all around. Giant pandas live in forests of bamboo and conifers at elevations between 5,000 and 10,000 feet in southwestern China. Click on the TOEFL Vocabulary Practice button to see the highlighted vocabulary. Click on the highlighted words to go to the scored practice section. There are over 250 vocabulary words in the TOEFL Vocabulary Practice. Use the Back button to return to the fact page. Click on the review to take a multiple choice quiz on the animal facts and get a score. At the end is a scored final review with multiple choice, fill in the blank, 
dictation, word scrambles. And the TOEFL vocabulary practice. The user management system tracks usage and scores for dictation practices to check listening comprehension, review quizzes to check reading comprehension, final review with five different question types, including word scrambles to check grammar and syntax. This is the table of contents. All of the idioms are organized in stories and dialogues. It starts with a listening practice. Listen to the story. Then, click on Quiz 1 in the lower right to see the questions. The Olympic Games The Olympic Games originated in ancient Greece over 3,000 years ago. This tradition was handed down to each generation from the 8th century BC to the 4th century AD. The modern games were dreamed up by Frenchman Baron Pierre de Coubertin. Then there's a quiz to check your listening comprehension. Mouse over the TOEFL Listening Practice button to get more information. Next, you can read the story or dialogue. A quiz to clarify the meaning of each idiom follows. After the story or dialogue, each idiom is shown with a definition, two examples, and pronunciation notes. Then you practice the idiom with a scored dictation. At the end is a scored final review with fill in the blank, Dictation, multiple choice, and word scrambles. With this program, you can improve your listening comprehension, pronunciation, and vocabulary in English. For lectures and discussions at school, for conference calls and meetings at work, and for tests like the TOEFL and TOEIC. Here's some user feedback. Writing in English is an online, interactive program. Writing in English helps you write clear, concise, and correct English. It will help you reduce errors in academic writing in school, email writing at work, and essays for tests like the TOEFL and TOEIC. Writing in English is now divided into two levels, High Beginning Plus and Intermediate Plus. Each level has over 200 screens of interactive lessons and practices with clear explanation of grammar rules in English, scored practices with immediate feedback. Here's the table of contents for Intermediate Plus. Note the pre-assessment, which has five rotating versions. You can compare your pre-assessment score to your post-assessment after you finish the program. On this page, you can also choose your language. If you don't select a language option, it defaults to English. The new Enhanced Navigation allows you to see the program index from the table of contents by rolling over the symbol of the magnifying glass in the lower left. Rolling over each chapter on the table of contents screen will show you a chapter level index. When you click on the prepositions across the bottom of the screen, you get more information.
Mouse over the TOEFL Skill Builder button to get more information. Now we move on to word forms. The example shows the various forms for the base word decide. This is how the language interface appears. Here is a chart on suffixes. This is a pull-down exercise. Let's make a mistake and see what happens. When we click the Check Answers button, it will give us a score. The Common Errors list gives you the correct answer first. He's a cautious person. And then shows your incorrect answer. He's a caution person. The Common Errors list is a great tool. It allows you to keep a record of your mistakes and the corrections as you move through the program. Here is a chart on phrasal verbs. Then the student has a chance to practice using phrasal verbs. Let's look in the index for the lessons on articles. We'll look at a couple of these. In the linking chapter, we start working on using appropriate linking words. The interactive scored practice follows. The last chapter, Clarity, starts with a lesson on parallel structure. Here are some famous examples using parallel structure. Here is additional work on eliminating extra words in a message. All of these lessons are always followed by an interactive scored practice exercise. Writing in English is used in the language labs at hundreds of schools and universities and by thousands of individuals worldwide. Here's some user feedback.